and CAFMOTC. We will be running a videotape here of, about the Endeavour processing activities here at Kennedy Space Center. The tape runs uh, about uh, six and a half minutes. And all over the system, this is OTC. I need you to verify your program software. Report only if any discrepancies. Endeavour arrived at Kennedy on May 7th, 1991, one year ago to this day. Many systems on board the Orbiter Endeavour feature design changes or updates as part of continued improvements to the shuttle. Upgrades include several improved or redesigned avionics systems, the new drag chute, and modifications to pave the way for possibly extending shuttle flights to last as long as 16 days. Endeavour arrived atop the new 747. It was towed into the orbiter processing facility where it underwent rigorous first flight testing required of all orbiters. The main engines were installed. Meanwhile, preparations were underway in the Titusville Astrotech payload facility, getting the Intelsat perigee kick motor ready. At the same time, the solid rocket boosters were being stacked in the vehicle assembly building here at Complex 39. The boosters consist of four motor segments, nose cones, and aft skirts. Then the external tank was mated to the booster stack. Meanwhile, the perigee kick motor and its cradle were moved to the vertical processing facility at KSC's industrial area. This is a solid propellant motor built by United Technologies Corporation and provided by Hughes Aircraft Company. The motor weighs about 23,000 pounds. It underwent testing here at the vertical processing facility. The Orbiter Endeavour was readied for rollout of the Orbiter Processing Facility on March 7th, just 10 months after it arrived here at Kennedy. This was a milestone in getting the Orbiter Endeavour ready for its maiden voyage. Employees that worked hard to get the Orbiter ready uh, were cheering and leading with a banner as the Orbiter was rolled about uh, several hundred yards over to the Vehicle Assembly Building. Endeavour was positioned in the transfer aisle and the overhead crane was attached. This is to hoist the orbiter high above in the high bay so that it could be mated to its external tank and solid rocket boosters. The orbiter spent about uh, six days in the VAB. Electrical checks were made and mechanical checks were made between the orbiter tank and boosters and the launch platform. Endeavour was rolled out of the orbiter out of the vehicle assembly building that occurred on March 13th. Endeavour was moved to launch pad 39B. It's first use of pad B since it served as the launch pad for Columbia last June. The flight readiness firing for Endeavour occurred on April 6th with a 22 second test firing of the main engines. All three engines were replaced after the firing because of two irregularities found in the two of the oxidizer turbo pumps. Very extensive uh, testing and analysis was performed of the main propulsion system after the FRF. And the payloads for STS-49 were installed in the payload bay on April 14th. The STS-49 astronauts arrived here at Kennedy Space Center shuttle landing facility Monday about 7 p.m. and we'll be listening to their comments as they spoke to a crowd of reporters once they arrived here. The vehicle's ready, we're ready, and we're going to try something new this flight. Uh, we'll make all you guys responsible for the weather. We don't want any of those Thursday. Okay, with that, I'm going to uh, let the rest of the crew say something. We'll start off with the pilot, uh, Kevin Chilton. Thanks, Dan. It's great to be back in Florida. We're looking forward to a good launch on Thursday. And I'm looking forward to watching these guys, being the only rookie here. It's been great training with all these experienced space flyers. we got the best rendezvous men in the business here, and Dan and Rick. And uh, Bruce can drive that arm like nobody I've ever seen. And when you see Pierre and Rick and uh, KT and Tom out there, uh, on days uh, four, five, and six, it'll be something to watch. I'm glad to be here, thanks. 
I sure am glad to be here. It, there's only been uh, one other time in my life when I was glad to leave Florida, and that was back on STS-41 when I left on that. And uh, I'm looking forward to leaving here Thursday night again. So it's great to be back and looking forward to getting on our way here Thursday. Sure glad to be short. <laughs> I'm also happy to be here. We've been training real hard for the last year or so, and we're not going to get any smarter, so now's a good time to go fly. We're going to take good care of Endeavor. We know there are a lot of people in the OPF that already miss her. We'd like to see her back on the ground and turn her around for the next flight. So we're going to take good care and bring her back in good shape. Tom. Well, I just want to say that I really feel lucky to be assigned to a flight like that with all these uh, great folks. And uh, also, you know, we'd just uh, like to say we've had a lot of fun training over the last few months. And I know we're going to have fun up in space uh, next week and can't wait to get back and tell you all about it. Thanks. Well, since we couldn't hear what they said, I'm going to say what they said. So uh, a lot of people uh, really work hard to get us to this point, and uh, we're looking forward to really getting up there and, and, and finishing the job that they did. Uh, they're back in Houston, back in Washington, back out in uh, L.A. and Hughes, and uh, they did a lot of hard work on this mission, and uh, we think things are going to go real well. We're looking forward to it. Thanks for coming out. I put a few notes together on the way down. Uh, it's great to be back. I can't think of anything they didn't already say, so I'm not going to say anything except it's great to be here, to be, to take this orbiter into space that the best people in the world work on. We're proud to do it, and it's going to be fun. And if you want to blame somebody for not being able to hear us and all that noise, that's Chili's and my fault because we're going to go over and fly the STA now, and they're just warming the baby up. So uh, once again, thanks very much for coming out here. And uh, we're really pleased to see so many folks interested in this mission. It's a real challenging one, and we're sure glad to be part of it and looking forward to do it on Thursday. See you. See you when we get back. <laughs>